So let's see how we can divide 1 and 5 eighths by 3 fourths visually. That's our plan. We're going to divide 1 and 5 eighths by 3 fourths visually in this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a 4 by 8 rectangle to represent one whole and I need three rectangles. The, f the first fraction 1 and 5 eighths will is more than one so it'll take two rectangles to to be represented and 3 fourths is less than one so I'm going to use one rectangle one 4 by 8 rectangle to represent 3 fourths. Why did I choose 4 by 8? I chose 4 by 8 because of the two denominators. 4 here and 8. So let's see how we can represent 1 and 5 eighths and then 3 fourths first. What I have here is 1 5 eighths shaded right here and 3 fourths shaded right here. So let's make sure we understand how we shaded. Well, we decided to choose a 4 by 8 rectangle to represent one whole. So to represent one, I shaded the whole rectangle. To represent 5 eighths, I shaded five of the horizontal strips out of eight horizontal strips. Now take a look at it. Um, the 4 by 8 rectangle has eight horizontal strips. I shaded five of them because I want to shade 5 eighths of the rectangle. What did I do here? I used a different color. I shaded 3 fourths. The 4 by 8 rectangle has four vertical strips. I shaded three of them. That means I'm shading 3 fourths of the 4 by 8 rectangle. Division in general means how many times the divisor goes into the dividend. This is called the divisor, 3 fourths is the divisor, and 1 and 5 eighths is the dividend. Division simply asks how many times the divisor goes into the dividend. Recall this is 3 fourths and this whole, this entire portion is 1 and 5 eighths. So we are asking how many times this goes into this. Now instead of saying this and this, let's say we are essentially asking how many times the yellow rectangle can be used to cover the blue pieces. So clearly the yellow rectangle will fit here once. Now here I have 3 times 8, 24 yellow rectangles. I'm going to count 24 yellow rec blue rectangles here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So clearly the yellow, yellow pieces will fit onto these 24 blue pieces. And this is what I'm left with. This part is very important, very crucial. So the conclusion I've drawn so far is that the yellow pieces will fit into the blue pieces two full times. And there are some of the blue pieces that are left over. Four of them are left over. So what part of the yellow pieces will now fit into the remaining four blue pieces? The answer is four out of 24. There are four blue pieces. There are four blue pieces and there are 24 yellow pieces. So only four 24 will fit into the blue pieces which is really same as which is really same as one sixth. So my final answer is two and one sixth. So we are concluding that the yellow rectangle will fit into the blue pieces one whole time, two times with the dot is, dots and one-sixth of a time.
So altogether my answer is 2 and 1 sixth. Let's now go over the algorithm. So 1 and 5 eighths divided by 3 fourths is same as 13 eighths divided by 3 fourths because 8 times 1 plus 5 is 13. Now, when you divide a fraction by another fraction, the algorithm, the rule, tells us that you multiply the dividend, the first fraction, by the reciprocal of the divisor, the second fraction. And that's why I have multiplication sign here, and 4 thirds is the reciprocal of 3 fourths. And when you multiply, 4 goes into 8 twice, and 2 times 3 is 6, that's why your final answer is 13 sixths and which turns out to be 2 and 1 sixth which is exactly what we found visually.